Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to iterate over all properties. Uh, you have now seen two kinds of properties. You have the own properties and the prototype properties. Own properties are defined directly on the object's instance itself and prototype properties are defined on the prototype. So here we have uh, the uh, function bird, a capital bird with a name being passed in. This is called an own property. And then we have bird.prototype.number of legs is equal to two. This is a prototype property. And then we're creating an instance of a bird called Donald, and it's set to the variable name duck. Uh, here is how you add duck's own properties to the array, own props, and prototype properties to the prototype properties. And now here they're just setting a variable of own props, and then they're setting a variable of prototype props, and both of them are equal to empty arrays. They're going to iterate through the object of duck. And they're going to say each um, value in the object is going to be property as they go through. So the first one's property, and then we execute this code. Then the second one is going to be property, and we execute this code again with the next element. So if the duck has own property of property, it's going to make own prop, and it's going to push that property that it's going through. If, it's, if that first property was um, the name, then it's going to be pushed on here and then we're gonna skip this statement. And then the next one will be the number of legs, and because the number of legs is uh, not an own property, that one's going to be pushed on at this point, and this bit of code will not be executed. And then when we console log them out, it'll print out an array with the string of name and the number of legs. So we wanna add all of the own properties of Beagle to the array own properties. Add all the prototype properties of dog to the array prototype properties. Okay, so really we're just gonna duplicate this kind of code. We're gonna say for let uh, prop pretty in um, Beagle. So right now we're creating a for loop, so we're gonna iterate through. If we were to console like log right now, uh, Beagle, you're gonna see Beagle, but the num legs is uh, part of the prototype property. So num legs is there, but when we print out Beagle, it just shows us here. So the own properties are defined, are shown when we log out the object. But when we do num legs, even though it wasn't shown as what part of the own property, it still renders out to the number of legs that the uh, Beagle has. And so right now, what we want to do is get the properties. We're going to say if um, beagle dot own, uh, has own property and then we're going to throw in property so for this one the first one will be um, the own prop will be the name and then so what we're going to say is own props and we're going to push the uh, property and then else we want to say prototype props. Which is this empty array dot push and then we're gonna push in the property. Snoopy. Okay. And now um if we were to console.log the uh own props. We would see this is own props. And I'm just adding the string in here so we can see it. And then if we were to console log uh, the property prototype props prototype props. Okay, and the number of legs. So that's what happens. It's just we're just it, um, making a conditional statement to separate the um, own properties versus the prototype properties. If we run the test, you can see they pass. So once again, um, the whole idea here is that we're just sh trying to show that the prototype properties are kind of um, behind the scenes. They're, they're set to this prototype value rather than set to the own properties, which are more explicitly set when you um, create constructor functions. And uh, the usefulness of this will become much more uh, apparent in future lessons. Anyways, with the test pass, hope you guys enjoy this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.